So let's look at an example. I guess we'll, we can summarize this really quick, though. So if our angles are inside the circle, what we want to do is add the two intercepted arcs. So we find the sum and then divide by half. So we want to make sure we add. If our angle is outside the circle, then what we do is we find a difference. We subtract our two intercepted arcs, and then we divide by half. So inside add, outside subtract. Let's look at this example too. I want you to find the value of x. If you want to, try this one on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. All right, this first one, we are inside the circle, so we're going to add. And the second one, we are outside, so we are going to subtract. In this first one, we know that x is going to be 1 half of our two intercepted arcs. We take 156 plus 130, we're one half. Of 286, which is going to be 143 degrees. So in this first example, x equals 143 degrees. Now let's look at the second example. We, because we are outside, we're going to subtract. So x is going to equal 1 half. We're going to take the larger angle minus the smaller angle. We take 178 minus 76. We get 1 half of 102, which is 51. So x here equals 51 degrees. And those are our solutions. If you have any questions about either of these problems or any of the preceding, go back, rewatch your videos. If you're still having problems, then come in and see me or shoot me an email. So quick summary. We have angles that are on our circle, which case we are half of just the single intercepted arc. We have angles inside the circle, which is half of the sum of our two intercepted angles. And we have angles outside the circle, which is half of the difference of the two intercepted angles.